Welcome to Investors Insights, where we try to rise above the noise and give you information that could impact your portfolio. Our topic today is earnings, DC, and dying retail. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Greg. Uh, it's good to have you here. Always enjoy the morning discussions. Yes. Uh, Bobby, we've got a historic week, I think, with earnings, don't we? Big week. There's 180 companies reporting earnings, and that's the most in one week in over five years. And so, so far, earnings have been pretty good. About 75% of the companies reporting earnings are beating expectations. And so we need that to continue this week, especially because in D.C., they're talking about health care, they're talking about tax reform, right. the government budget, and then also a lower GDP number is expected on Friday. And so we need the, the earnings to drown out the noise coming out of D.C. Uh, it's going to be very important this week. It is, very much so. And, and at the same time, though, on those earnings, we're seeing a lot of business models change. Technology is having an impact. Trey, you brought up about uh, retailing. Yeah, Talk it, about that. yeah. so that's, that is a, a completely different, I guess, system that's going into place now. Sure. There are 2,880 retail shops clo expected to close this year. Announced, it's incredible. It's only April, and there's, right. they've announced 2,880 closures. That's double the rate of last year and at a current pace higher than in 2008. Right. So it's not that the economy is going down. It's just the business model is completely changing. And, and so we've that's what's very important. We've been right. talking about that mm -hmm. on our yeah. blog. Yeah, so if you go to the mall, you may not see your store there. You may be having to go online, which is fine. But that's, it's, this, it's this pricing pressure pushing things down, and, they're tr and that's good for the consumer, right. lower cost. But they're having to get out a lot of the fat, and some of that fat turns out to be stores. Right, mm -hmm. and, and at the same time, we're talking about pricing pressure on retail. Mm -hmm. But then also, let's talk about what's happening in the energy sector with uh, gasoline prices this Week. Yeah, so you know we've seen we've seen some economic growth with just push up uh, the price of oil. That's good consumption, but the downside is is that the price of gas at the pump is twenty cents per gallon higher than it was this time last year. So it's kind of a give and take. You get more growth, that's positive, but you know that pushes up some prices in certain areas, especially commodities. And going back to Bobby's point, though, that's what we're looking at on the the portfolios to see which positions, which companies are. are earning money, right. which causes stock prices exactly. to go up, exactly. as well as our economic news. Yeah, also to see which companies are innovating. Yeah, exactly. who, who's That's using this disruption point. to their advantage? This right, is, you know, yeah. Evolve, evolving with it. Exactly. Yeah. So, But we're getting feedback, though, from the consumer, right, Ashley? Yes, exactly. Yeah, talk about uh, what took place this past week. Right. One indicator we love to look at is a uh, survey by seven of the largest regional banks in the country after the quarter ends. And the survey basically says, kind of where are you? How are you feeling if you're a corporate customer of this bank? The reason we like the seven is, is it pretty much goes across the U.S. Uh, geographically, line of business, everything, both corporate and consumer. And what's coming back, reflecting back into Washington right. is, look, we're very confident about the direction. We want more clarity. Right. Makes perfect sense. Right. And that's why we chose the topic earnings. You know, in terms of retail dying in D.C., yes. because that all comes together. And let's don't forget the global politics with the French election, oh, yeah. North Korea, Syria, all of that. So on that note, we hope you've gotten some beneficial information here that you want to share with others, pass on to colleagues and friends. You can follow us also on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn as we add additional information throughout the week. We hope you have a great week and that this has educated you on how we keep up with portfolios here at Five Plan Partners. Thanks again. We appreciate it.